Yo, yo, yo. Merry Christmas, everyone. Today is a special day, not only because I have a rare Sunday off work, but also because the Lethal Company modding community has blessed us with new maps for the holiday season. In this video, we're going to check out the new Explorations mod pack by SF Desat, the new Christmas Village event map that comes with the Lethal Expansion mod by Holographic Wings, the Egypt Moon by K Netswa, and the Half-Life inspired moon Hostile by Dynamic Flight. There are now eight modded moons available on the Thunderstore app, doubling the amount of playable maps in the game, and I'm excited to dive into the ones I haven't covered yet. So without further ado, let's get started. The Explorations Mod Pack is a collection of modded moons curated by the developer Sifa Desat. Before this mod pack, people would have to find and download each moon individually, but SFD Asat has now made that process easier by compiling most of the moons into one place. The mod pack includes the moons Ducky, Castle Grounds, Water Ridge, and Christmas Village, as well as Safed Asat's own moons, Orion, and their newly added Aquatus. I've already done videos for all but one of these moons, so if you want to check those out, I'll leave a link to them in the description below. I'll also take this opportunity to segue into my first look into the Christmas Village map. Nice transition, Austin. All right, so I actually visited the company planet before starting this recording, so that way I can already get my pro flashlight, my jetpacks, and some backup flashlights just in case. So let's go check out the terminal with all the new maps. Look at that. This is what a full list of moons in Lethal Company would look like. There's so many moons that I actually have to scroll down to see them all. But we're going to go check out the Christmas Village. We are going to do time first because there's obviously something that would prompt needing a time in the first place. So let's go see what those reasons are. The screen says Christmas Village, Merry Christmas with a darkly lit Christmas tree. It looks like it's straight out of the Grinch movie, actually. Looks like there's some snowfall, but not the same kind of snow fall that you would see on Ren, Dine, and Titan. Hopefully it's more like a chill type thing. I wonder how big this village actually is. Like you can see a village up there. I wonder if we can go up there with a jetpack. Or if that's actually where we're supposed to go. We're supposed to go up the mountain. Or did we fly over the village? Um, I'm just gonna walk this way. The snowman. Okay, it looks like we have to go up the village. So let's go. I think it'll be okay if we just run up there. Might be a little bit more immersive this way. This is Probably the intended way to do it too. I doubt everyone just brings jetpacks all the time. Kind of a crazy map though. Usually when there's somewhere that's way up this high, they put like torches or something or some other indicator to show that there's even a place up here. But you know what? Maybe that's just how secluded this village is. Okay. Okay, we get some Christmas music in the background. Hopefully you guys can hear that. Wait, I don't have both earbuds in. Let's let's put that in and fully enjoy it. <laughs> cool. Very festive. Very festive. I wonder if, any, if there's anything you can interact with. In the center, the music's coming from there. You can enter the house. Let's just go. I want to see. See what's in here. Wait. <laughs> it's all of a sudden not that festive. <laughs> so, uh, that looks like it's the main entrance. I wonder if there's going to be fire exits. Are all these different houses, um, usable? That that was that was a crazy difference between the super happy holiday season outside to the just dead silence inside. Kind of it's like a different kind of scary that way. Doesn't seem like these function as fire exits, but surely there is one. Logs, love to see it. This one looks like a usable door. It is not. Maybe we go into the into the facility and find the fire exit. You think it's gonna be a dangerous inside? I'll check every house and every door. Everyone leaves the lights on at these houses. In fact, is, is there even anyone here? Why are there so many houses but no people? Do the snowmen live here? Maybe there's like a Grinch lair or something that functions as a fire exit. Look at all these presents. Who are they for? What is that? What is that? A Christmas star? Worth 300... 303? That is... I can't see even with the... Even with the oh shit oh no please wait i didn't think there would actually be stuff wait uh, okay well this is not very good so this is an actual playable map it looks like we can go out this way bye 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 Okay, so we're just gonna take this home with us. It's 314, so there might be enemies out and about. You're gonna go figure that out for yourself. You can do that. I think I'm just gonna take this star home with me. If you know where the fire exit is on that map, 
please let me know in the comments below. I can't see. Can't see. I like this concept though of an item, two-handed item that blocks your vision. Like that's just shows how huge it is. Why was it so bright in the facility, but not my hand? <gasps> Am I dead? Bro, no way. Just walked off the map. I'm a goat. Um, not entirely sure what just happened there. I'm not dead actually. Are there no monsters spawn outside or I got really lucky? I'm also just not going to wait around for a mask to spawn. <laughs> just getting a mask inside this village would be not very chill. But let's see, we get to see the Christmas star rotation animation. And yeah, if you want to go check out the Christmas village for yourself, you could go do that. Because I'm, I'm out of here. Let's see what kind of loot there was. We're going to get a performance report here and see a total loot value. I got 303, so I feel like I did pretty good. Okay, grade C, that's a passing grade, 303 out of 1625. I wonder if the no time Christmas village also leads to uh, no enemies inside too. I'd imagine some people just want to spend time with their friends in the village. That'll be it for the showcase of the Christmas village. Let's go check out the next map. We have now defeated all of Dio's minions in America and are on board a submarine to Egypt. Egypt looks like it's going to be eclipsed. I typed in E underscore Egypt because the mod name on the Thunder Store has the underscore. I did that. It doesn't look like it has the underscore here. 10,000 years ago, an ancient civilization once thrived here. It is now a desolate wasteland full of hungry worms and spiders hellbent on feeding upon unsuspecting scavengers. Hopefully I don't need the jetpack here. I know I'm going to need a jetpack for the next one, so let's just see how we go on foot. Okay. Looks like the arena that Joseph and Cars fight in. Oh, there's going to be worms and stuff out here. I've been devoured by worms in so many of my runs that it's not even funny. Actually, it's kind of hilarious. So let's see if I get eaten by a worm here in this one. My first instinct is to run over to this building over here that has some stairs. So we're going to do that. The reason why I wasn't too worried about going to an eclipsed planet for this one on the first one is because it seems like the lighting is pretty appropriate for for a desert wasteland, you know. So it doesn't look like there's anything up here. This looks like it would be a good safe spot against, well, what worms for one. But you can like have an enemy chase you, all, like a mask ch maybe chase you all the way up here and then run all the way back down, perhaps. My next instinct then is to run straight out the back of the dropship. I, maybe I should have looked outside when we were landing to see if there was any structures that we flew over. Hey, I see some roaming locusts here, so maybe I'm going the right way. Hopefully not too much farther. I think I see a structure up there, so we're going to go that way. Flashlight not really helping with the visibility here. Maybe I should have brought the jetpack for this one. The lighting's a little bit lighter over here. We're going to go this way. Oh, there's another arena that way. But maybe this is like the edge of the map, but I doubt it, they would put the edge so close. Oh, there's a whole pyramid. That looks like where I'm supposed to go. It's like actual Egypt. Hopefully the entrance is just like right here or something. Obviously I'm going to climb to the top if I can. Oh, I guess I'm not even supposed to be here. <laughs> so I think that the actual correct direction was towards that other structure that I saw earlier. Cool pyramid. Looks like there's gold at the top. Won't know what that means. Eclipsed moon is right there. I just realized, oh, okay. There, an entrance. I don't know if this is a fire exit or a main one. But we're gonna check it out anyway. But it did take me about six hours of in-game time to find this. I think I'm gonna end up dying instead of going back to the ship. It'll take me a while to get back there. Okay. This is the fire exit, so. There is another door somewhere then. The mansion interior. That is a long run from the ship. I'd imagine that since we had to run that way for one entrance, that we're gonna have to run the other way for the main entrance. Turning a corner now. Also, this is an eclipse moon, but I still haven't encountered an outdoor enemy yet. Unless there are sandworms and yeah, okay, well. That couldn't have been better timing, couldn't it? As long as I keep running, I'll be okay. I think we're back at the ship. Okay. Well, not sure where else to go. I think what we'll do is we'll take off one time and then we'll come back and see if we can get a non-eclipsed weather condition and go from there. Not that eclipse really matters or anything, but I'm also just running out of time. And also when we fly away, we can look for another entrance somewhere. 
Um, oh, there's a whole pyramid on the left. So let's go try that one. Maybe if I was outside at first, instead of trying to see what the window looked like. Oh, also, collect total scrap value 330. So not a lot of scrap available on Egypt, according to that. Let's go to Egypt again. I'm gonna step outside and look to the left. Confirm that there is something that way. Oh, there's a pyramid. Okay, maybe that that's not it either. That might also just be cos for cosmetic purposes. But it's immediately in view, so maybe it's going to be a little different this time. I'm surprised that this didn't lead to anything. Let me see if there's something under the stairs. Although the, a door that close would be pretty insane as well. So. And this might be the one map that's harder to navigate than Val. I should have brought my um, jetpack maybe. We got a jump puzzle, that's kind of fun. There aren't many jump puzzles in <laughs> Lethal Company if other than other than just the the parkour jumps that you have to do normally, but I like that. I like that. One of the comments in one of my videos was saying how there isn't a lot uh, as of development as far as like out, the outdoor gameplay loop goes. But if there were like jump puzzles on maps that you had to complete to get places, and if I think that could add to some of the um, to some of the variety, the outdoor gameplay. In my top five things that I want in Lethal Company video as well, which I haven't filmed yet, is that I, I wanted a forge mode so that way people could make maps where you can do jump puzzles and escape room type things. But if you just put it on the overworld like that, that's kind of cool too. You also put it on a new interior, which was another thing that I wanted from or in a future update. Maybe we can add some verticality to the indoor maps through it. That way there's more than just stairs and ladders to go up. You have to do jump puzzles and whatnot. And then having to do a jump puzzle getting chased by an enemy would be pretty funny. But anyway, we can found the main entrance. This one is actually a pyramid that we can enter. Let's see if we can walk right through it. No, this one's solid. So obviously first thing we're going to try to do when going inside is try to climb the pyramid. But I think they took that into account because I can't go up there. So let's go enter. I like the new door facility there's literally a spider right there <laughs> on the wall it did say increases spider spawns and uh yeah it's kind of just in the wall but i'm not going to look for anything else because we already know about the scrap value that should be in there 330 so it looks like if you fall on this jump puzzle you fall in the water and you're just going to drown um but yeah i don't recommend failing this jump puzzle Let's go and see if the scrap value- Oh, actually, I could have scanned. Let's get the scan before we go. 15 objects, approximate value 1050, which isn't going to be 1050, actually. 415, so it's better than 330. We'll have to actually play on the map to see if it's really, truly an intermediate between March, Rend, and Dine. Like, between the intermediate and harder maps. Because I feel like I can get that much loot on March. Is it less more or less dangerous? The outdoor seems less dangerous on Egypt than March since there weren't any giants here and it seems like the outdoor danger is going to be worms and with that distance from the main entrance to the ship which actually isn't all that much and all the different solid objects that you can stand on it doesn't seem like worms will be that big of an issue on this map yeah I think it's going to depend a lot on if there are giants because if there are giants on this map there isn't going to be much that you can hide from I would also like to see how a giant would Tra like uh, travel that jump puzzle i'd imagine that they can just walk across it <laughs> we'd be at a complete disadvantage but i'm not gonna find out today i'll find it out on a playthrough when i come back to these maps with my friends that's it for the egypt showcase and let's head over to the last one hostile is a moon by dynamic flight who was inspired to remake a section of the chapter we've got hostiles from the game half life hostile is one of the og modded moons but the reason why you might not have heard of it is because it was made as a proof of concept to test the limits of the Lethal Expansion Software Development Kit. Even so, it is still a functional map, and the dev states on the Thunderstar page that they will update it once the dropship errors with Lethal Expansion are resolved. That said, let's take a look at the last map of the video. Alright, so the last map of this showcase is going to be Hostile. I've never played the Half-Life games, but I did watch a Half-Life video from the chapter We've Got Hostiles to kind of see what this would look like okay the real truth is that i've actually been to this map before with my friends i played i played with them the other day on this one and uh yeah the only reason i'm using this footage now is because we were running a few different mods at the time too and we encountered a few bugs on this on this map 
and it wasn't like the best showcase. So instead, I'm just going to film a separate showcase one and then include some clips from our playthrough as bonus clips at the end of this video. So stick around for those if you'd like. It looks like the math coil just kind of spawned in the air there and is flying in place. So this map is the reason why I brought the jetpack out. Brought the jetpack because it's the biggest map of them all. We got some, um, what, what's it called? Oh, ow. Some oil here. What is it? Burnout oil. If you want to play on this map, you can kind of just take a look at these, but then fly away or walk away because this isn't where the main entrance or the fire exit is at. You're gonna wanna go just a little bit farther. So this is where it's actually gonna be. So that's where the main entrance is, that facility over there. It looks like there's gonna be some gates that the dev will work on in the future, but they're just not in there right now. As you can see, that was a pretty far distance to travel. We traveled it on foot at first and kind of took us a while to get here. So these gates are white for some reason on the other side. Maybe it can be a toggle toggleable thing in the future. Maybe that's something that can be added to outdoor maps as well. Just some, some toggleable parts of different buildings. Like it would be cool to have some counterplay against giants if you can open and close gates like that. I think we got a door right here. I'm gonna go in real quick. The facility type map. Nothing else to see here. Because I want to show you guys the fire exit too. Let's not take damage this time when we take off. If anyone knows why you take damage when you take off on a jetpack, let me know because I'd really like to. And I don't know that right now. Okay. And it is very dark in here. The fire exit is in this tube down the hall. Last time I played on here, it wasn't this dark though, so I'm kind of curious why that's the case. One cool thing about this fire exit though is that they also put in some effort to make it look different. I'd imagine that the design of this fire exit door is a reference to the Half-Life game. Yeah, go in. Ability map, just like normal. We have a large axle here, worth 52. That's kind of a high roll, actually. Some tattered metal sheet, engines. No. 48 B-type engine is pretty good also. I do know that outdoor enemies can spawn on this map. Last time we were here long enough that mouth dogs or eyeless dogs spawned. They spawn next to the ship. I'll include that in the bonus clips as well. Because it, it's a pretty funny interaction or that we had with them on this map. Okay, let's go fly back. Actually, th I forgot. This, this is the last map of the showcase. And, uh... <laughs> I didn't realize that I would die like that, but that's kind of appropriate anyway. Check out the scrap value on this. Oh wait, no, we don't get to. But let's just land and then leave and see how much scrap I left on the table by exploding with the jetpack. All right, 346 available scrap. So similar loot value to that of Egypt and the free moons. here. I just don't know where it went. Big time frame drop. The Bracken does that sometimes. <laughs> you saw oh. I see. Ah! Well. That was so weird. <laughs> I like follow. I was in the room he was in and I was behind him. I was like, he wasn't looking at me, but I guess he was going after you guys. You're having a seizure on <laughs> my screen. Oh my god. Did you turn off sliding? Wait, I have fly I can fly. What? You can? What the? Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to turn that one off. Oh, what's this? Is it just an orb? Wait, why are there beehives just the floating? The bees are like away from the actual hive. The bees are oh. separate. But maybe when we leave the planet, it'll be okay. There's a dog. <laughs> yeah. Hey, dog, come over here. Beep, bop, boop, blah, 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 blah. Uh. Just use the sliding tech. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have valuable answers coming through. Can the dogs hear you sliding? <laughs> slide crouching. Yeah, loud ass fucking slide. Wait, 
even aggro. They're just 